Welcome to Egg Crash, designing an occlusion safety device. This is one of my favorite activities. It's also a wonderful activity for you to really understand what happens in a car crash. And it'll also help you understand the question that we address in the very beginning of the It's Basic Physics film. How is it that one race driver that crashed into a wall was able to walk away and a second race car driver was carried away? You've probably heard of the old egg drop competition where you have to build something around the egg to protect it when it falls. This one's a little different. Now, you're gonna drop the egg just like it is, but you have to design the collision safety device for it to hit, or the landing pad for it to fall on. So, to design that landing device, you're gonna use no more than 10 sheets of paper. All right, can use no more than 10, don't have to use it all. And a meter of masking tape. You also have a pair of scissors, so feel free to cut up the paper any way you'd like, fold it, crumple it, origami, whatever you want to do to design your collision safety device. Let's think about a few of the rules. Number one, your landing pad collision safety device has to be freestanding. That means you can't tape it to a wall, to the floor, to a desk. You have to be able to pick it up, carry it to the drop site, put it down, and get ready to drop. Number two, you have to make sure that the scissors are not part of your contraption, all right? They can't weight it down at all. Now, after you've built it and you're dropping it, and yes, you're the one who has to drop it, if your egg hits the landing pad and then bounces off, then hits the floor and cracks, you're out. If it hits and just rolls off and breaks, you're out. Or, since you're dropping it, if you get distracted or whatever and you let go and it misses the pad completely, you're out. So you want to think about as you're engineering your landing pad, what's going to help you hit your landing pad and make sure that egg hits that sweet spot every time so it doesn't break, okay? Make this even tougher, you only have 20 minutes to build this landing pad. Now, at the end of 20 and it's time to drop, teacher's going to call you up, team at a time. When you drop it, we're going to start from one meter, that would be your first drop, and then try to go to a meter and a half, and if you survive that, maybe all the way up to two meters. That'll be up to your teacher. Have fun and good luck.